Are you okay? Yeah, it just uh, brings back some bad memories. But where's everybody else? Uh, finally! You guys are okay? Where are the others? I don't know. I thought they were with you. No, Red, we can't leave them. Not after everything. But we can't... Okay. All right. I got one last location I can check, all right? Mm -hmm. Is the plane already fueled up? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, now, we cannot sacrifice everyone else, okay? All right? So be ready when I get back. Nick, that's what they call you now? We must go. Wait, wait, you are Isabella Keys. I've heard rumors about no, you. No, you don't understand. What is it you have to tell me? No more hints, just out with it. Your government built a lab near my village. All to make fatter cattle for your fat country to eat. And with the lab came soldiers from the U.S. Army. They did what young men do. They spread their seed. And then when Dr. Barnaby discovered the bees, well, the zombies came. And your government killed most of the survivors so no one will tell the truth. Carlito thought it would be fitting that he should send the children back to the country which helped create them. Little time bombs like your friend Diego. But he did not want to create something unstoppable. So he made one of the orphans immune. Oh my god, Nick. This is you, Nick. You are the little life capsule Carlito planted. Me? You're what we've been waiting for. You can be cured. Dr. Malin wants the cure, and she will do anything to get it. She's looking for you now. We must go. Well, I know it doesn't look like much, but... We must take our chances now. Nick! Annie! Come on out here! Okay, that's red. We need to get everyone. Nick, please! for red. You sure gave up on your family fast. Come on, Nick. I told you, I'm a realist. I'm tired of living like a pariah. And when I saw that flyer, I realized that was the closest to five million dollars that I ever was going to get. So guess what? I got your friends. You are my five million dollars. So let's make an exchange. I'm going to kill you with my bare fucking hands, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I like to see you.
Thanks for that. Thanks, buddy. Try this. You're a darling. Cheers, love. Find a way to get out of here. Go. You're coming with me. One of the family, huh? No. Family of one, Nick. Just like you. No. Nothing like me. Everybody gets shit. I wanted it to be my time. We well, write about one thing. What? It is your time. Nick. Annie, are you okay? Yeah. That's Hemlock's voice. Speak up, man. I can barely understand you. Have you recovered the orphan? Uh, negative, sir. We have him cornered. Uh, requesting additional time to mop things up. Very well. I'll grant another day. Malin will be happy to have more time. Our work here is not yet complete regardless. Mine isn't either. Been. I lost my mind when you ran away. Shit, that's real cute, ain't it? Ooh, I love a happy ending. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I saw what it was doing to you, the pressure to, to keep me unregistered and to find Zombrex all the time. It, it wrecks people, that drug. I didn't want to burden you anymore. You've never been a burden to me, honey. It's not your fault what happened to me. I'm the one who's the burden. I'm, I'm not proud of what I've done. I've been looking for you for so long. You're the man Gary works for. I'm not letting Annie go with some thug. I don't give a shit if she is your daughter. She's not your property. I've been looking for my daughter for two years. And now there's a zombie outbreak like the one that killed her mother. You don't know what that's like. Who the hell is this? Nick Ramos. Who are you? Chuck Green. Okay, it's okay. Dad, I mean, how, did, how did you find me? I found Gary. He overheard where you were going. I wanted to kill him for letting you go. But I never seen the fat bastard so happy. It's been a long time, Chuck Green. Isabella Keys. What the hell are you doing here? Your face. Dr. Mallon was always envious of me. At least I can still walk. 
It is imperative that we get this man to a safe place immediately. What, that little pipsqueak? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? He contains within him, within his body, the cure, the antidote to the parasite. Come, we must get to this plane. We don't have much time. Let's do this. That's it. Good. This plane won't fit all of us. Gary and I'll stay. What? No, we figured that we'll round up anybody who's still alive and we'll truck them out of here. We'll, we'll find a way. I can't leave you guys. You're the important one, Nick. <sighs> Don't ever forget you got a family right here. Okay? All right, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> Either of you even know how to fly a plane? I guess we'll just have to make do with what we got. Luck. Buckle up, everybody. 